Hello, my artistic friends. I'm Monica with Last Chance. And on my channel, we discuss all things related to self-sufficiency. Here, you see what is mostly my cucumbers, but you can see a little cucumber growing there and a little bee. But you can also see that I have a musk melon growing right, you can barely see it. I have a musk melon growing right here. Now, here's the odd thing. Last year here, I planted honeydew melons, which are a type of musk melon. This year I planted cantaloupes. Nothing grew last year when I planted the honeydew melons. This year I planted cantaloupes. So the truth is this melon could be either one because in my garden, for some reason, if I don't, from in my garden, for some reason, Things don't always grow the year I plant them. But it doesn't change the simple fact that cantaloupe or honeydew doesn't matter. We love both a lot in my family. And I have to protect this melon. Melons normally will grow along the ground and normally they will have their fruit along the ground. When that happens, it creates a soft spot on the melon. These soft spots are bad and farmers have to turn the melon every day so that the soft spot doesn't happen and every part of the melon gets air. When you grow on a trellis, as I am doing here, there is a slightly different issue. The issue is that the melon gets so heavy, and you can see it happening here, the melon gets so heavy that it will pull on its stem and will snap or will get malnourished before the melon is ready. So to do that, we have to take some pressure off of the stem. I'm using an old sock to do this. Now these melons will get fairly large, so I can't just put the melon inside the sock. What I need to do is cut the sock to create a hammock for the melon. These are the scissors I will need, I will use to create the hammock. I intend to use the heel of the sock as the cushion part for the hammock. And this is an old sock, I haven't darned it, and I think there's only one. So it's a good sock to use. And it's a very simple matter of you take the, you take your scissors and you cut along the top of the sock. I have a senior member of my pest control and fertilization team very close. This will mean that this is what happens. Your sock is laid flat. But I intend to use these holes when I actually create the hammock. There is the senior member of my pest control and fertilization team doing her job. Look, this cucumber got really big. Look at how big that got. I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed, but I'm not sure if I can. You need to wrap the melon. It doesn't matter if it's a watermelon or a cantaloupe or a honeydew or any other melon, except perhaps mouse melons. Wrap the melon. You almost want to wrap it in a blanket, off style. About like this. Then I'm going to put 
I'll have to put the camera down, but I'm going to put this long end into the hole. So now it looks like that. I'm going to cut the top of the sock here so I can tie it around the metal trellis right here. I have to turn off the camera to tie it around. I need two hands for that. And here's the melon trellis for free. You can see the stem now is slightly bent. So it's getting the weight is off of the stem and it's, the melon is getting the nutrients that it needs now. You don't have to use a sock. You can use basically any piece of clothing that you don't use anymore. Um, some old uh, knee highs or pantyhose. Um, I've known people who have used you know, intimate garments. I don't think that's appropriate personally, but most people, some people don't mind it. I just had a spare sock that had, the, had a hole in the right place. Thank you very much. Please have a great day. Please like and subscribe and God bless you. Bye.